Hey there guys, this is Cole. I want to welcome you guys back to another review. Today we're reviewing The Blob, released in 1988, directed by uh, Jim Carrey comedy, The Mask Director, uh, Chuck Russell, who also did Nightmare on Elm Street 3, which uh, is honestly my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie, and I think he knocked it out the park with this movie. So let's get into the review. So this movie has a great, this movie has a great cast. You got... Kevin Dillon, Shawnee Smith, and you also got uh, Donovan Leach Jr. from who was you know, he he's a great actor. Uh, he he plays a character named Paul in this. Uh, 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 this actor he basically plays uh, he basically would eventually star in the uh, Revolutionary War movie uh, Glory, which had uh, Morgan Freeman and. Uh, whole bunch of other actors uh great sorry i had to decline a call to do this review but uh yo know, he would eventually start in glory uh you also have meg played by shawnee smith who would eventually start in the horror movie saw which is a really good movie i uh, i do want to get around to reviewing the saw movies at some point and you have Kevin Dillon, uh, Brian, played by Kevin Dillon from from the TV show Entourage, which, I'll be honest, I've never seen the show. Many people, I know many people love the show. I've never seen Entourage, but regardless here, regardless of whether I've seen that show or not, acting-wise, I thought he did a fantastic job in this movie. You know, the movie cuts off with, uh, with these cheerleaders and, uh, and you know, watch it, you know, watch it, a football game, and then, uh, and then you know, these girlfriend and, bo and it's in the town of California. You know, the girlfriend and the boyfriend they go off in the movie, and then you know, after that, uh, and then you know, as soon as that happens, like uh, later at night, there's uh, an accident that happens when uh, when you know he's about to go into the car, you know, thinking that uh, that oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's uh, make out in the car, and uh, as soon as he gets in the car, he doesn't notice that his girlfriend's dead, but then her face uh, c crushes together, but it kind of smushes inside of her head, inside of her skull, and then, you know, breaks it, and, you know, he's like, he, he's trying to escape, but, you know, he, he can't let go because the grip's on him tight, and then, you know, the blob kills him in the car, and then it cuts to our uh, main characters. He got Paul... Uh, you got Paul, uh, Brian, and Meg, and uh, and Brian, played by Kevin Dillon, was a lot of fun in this movie. I thought he had a great sense of humor, a great sense of attitude. He, you could totally believe that th that this guy was an awesome action hero, even the even though he plays a teenager in this movie. I like the whole part where he's uh, you know, he's riding his motorcycle during the daytime, and then he falls off a bridge, and then a crazy old man warns him about something's gonna happen. Obviously, he doesn't believe him, but, and then, you know, he goes away, and then we cut to a scene at, uh, nighttime when, uh, we cut to a scene at nighttime where, uh, where, you know, where Meg, you know, uh, you know, the girl character, uh, she, she has these two younger brothers, and, you know, she lives with her mother, and uh, the little brothers are like they're around like nine, maybe ten ish, and uh, and you know, there's this cool, but like there's this funny part where uh, where the mother's not happy with them, but like they're like, hey, she was like, you know, they're like, you know, hey, we're gonna go see a movie tonight. She's like, okay, what movie? The Garden Tool Massacre. She's like, the what? Your basic slash, uh, basic slashing dice. Your basic what? Yeah, it's about a killer who uses a. Uh, who uses a garden tool as a weapon and kills people. And she's like, they're not going to let you, like, you're not going to let you two into a movie like that. She's like, he's like, but mom, come on. Nope, you are not watching that junk and that's final. And then, you know, look, and then funny enough, you know, after some of the stuff Brian experienced, you know, Brian sees the blob attack, uh, he basically sees the blob attack a, uh, he sees the blob attack the the old man like uh, some of it gets on his hand and starts melting away at his skin. But you know, uh, obviously, when he asks uh, uh, Meg's mother, you know, he's you know he's asking if she's at the house, and uh, you know she's like, no, she went out with Paul. And then you know he decides, you know, because they were trying to find him but couldn't find him. And then it cuts to a scene in the hospital with uh, Paul where. 
he's about to make a a telephone call, but you know he's in the room away from people, and then he sees the blob on top of the ceiling, and then the blob literally grabs and eats him, and then the blob, and then you know that, and then you know Meg hears a scream. She goes to see what's going on. She's screaming. She's like Paul, like horrified as to what's happening to him, and his ba his body is basically trapped inside of the blob. But yo, know, he's screaming, and yo, know, he can't really breathe. And, you know, his arms are sticking out like she tries, like, Meg tries to pull Paul's arms out the blob. But the blob, you know, because it's a uh, acid, acid material, the blob has to eat away at its victims. His arms burn and melt off. And then, you know, she pulls out his bloody severed arms. Really good makeup effects. That's for, for a movie made in 1988, the practical effects hold up incredibly well for this movie. And then, you know, she go, she decides to go find, uh, she decides, you know, she's trying to go find, uh, Brian, and then, you know, Brian finds her, and, you know, he rides her away with her motorcycle, and now it's up to her, you know, because, uh, there are these two kids that she has to rescue, and, like, there's many, uh, I forgot to mention, there's many other great special effects in this movie, too, like, uh, there's a part where there's this guy who, you know, who's working at the restaurant, at a restaurant, and, you know, he notices something's not right with the sink, he puts his hand in, and then the thing, Blob literally pulls him down the sink, and, you know, pulls his body through it, and shreds it to a bunch of bloody pieces, really good makeup effects, and I, and, you know, there's so many other cool sequences in this movie, too, like, uh, I think the soundtrack, whoever did the soundtrack to this movie did an incredible job, and TriStar Pictures did a good job. Uh, they did the 1998 Godzilla, which that's just a piece of crap. That's honestly, this is much better than the 1998 Godzilla. I, I, I'll be honest. I'm not like many people hate the 1998 Godzilla. That's considered a bad, uh, the American Godzilla movie in the 90s. Many people hate that movie. I think it's a bad movie, but I'm not going to talk about it now. I, I'm going to. I'm not going to get into detail. I'm going to say I'll, I'll save more detail on that in case I do a review of it at some point. But uh, this was much better. Uh, you have a much better cast. Uh, and I like Matthew Broderick. He's a good actor in movies like The Lion King, the original. But he just wasn't good in. And he was also good at Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He was not good in the 1998 Godzilla. But I, I'm getting off tangent here. Uh, I'll. I'll save more and talk about that in a separate review if I ever get to it, but Kevin Dillon, like, I mean, I know I just keep repeating myself, like I said, I've never seen the TV show Entourage, but I thought he did a really good job in this movie, acting-wise, and character-wise, too, and then, you know, uh, and I think, I just don't really care for the original Bob in the 50s, uh, Steve McQueen, I... Granted, I haven't seen much of his work, so I can't judge him fully, but the only movie I saw him in was the original Blob, and I honestly didn't really care for him in that. I know many people disagree, but that's just me. Here, I thought Kevin Dillon, he, I thought the actor was much better, the character was much better too. And then you have the movie theater scene, I like... And I know the I know the original had the movie theater scene, but honestly, in my opinion, this movie did honestly this movie did the movie theater scene much better than in the original movie. Cause in the original it just kinda looked fake, like jelly. Like, yes, I get that it was the nineteen fifties and the budget wasn't up to par with everything, but just I just didn't really buy it. Here I bought it in this movie, like like the blobs in the theater, like, you know, and then when it comes, and then you know uh, Meg's trying to run in, see if Paul's in the theater, and then you know the blob's picking everyone up off the ceiling with its tentacle, uh, with its tentacle blob things, and then you know it's it's eating people, and then you know, and then a person's face, uh, you can see a person's melted face on the floor when uh, I know this part bothered some people. It didn't really bother me, but I can get why. When you have the lights going on and off, but very constantly, really quick. I get why flashing lights like that might bother people, but it didn't really bother me. I actually thought it was kind of cool, but, you know, hey, that's just me. But then, you know, uh, Meg picks up uh, a person and they see that their face is all bloody and it's melted away. That acid ate away at it. And then, you know, they get out the theater and then, you know, it's up to Meg now to rescue her uh rescue her brothers basically and then you know uh 
She ma she manages, you know, two kids. She manages to help them climb up the place. The blob literally almost eats her. She falls in, but then these military guys come in and they stop the blob from doing that. And, you know, she gets out. And then the blob, I, th this is one of the only issues I'll say. I will say the practical effects, cast, and effects are great. There is some digital CGI effects that in a few moments don't really hold up, but... Again, that's just very minor. It's like maybe at most five minutes of digital effects that don't hold up. The more practical stuff still holds up really well to this day. But yeah, uh, love this movie. I love the cast, the characters. I think uh, the action sequences are pretty good when they happen. Uh, and I also like uh, the ending, which some people think it was a tease for a sequel. It's not. Uh, even the director, Chuck Russell, admitted that it's not. When uh when the when the evil looking scientist kind of guy is holding uh the blob in a jar, I know some people think that was a sequel setup, but trust me, it wasn't. The director said he never intended to do a sequel, but I would have loved to have seen a sequel. It's too late now, cause you know this cast, most of this cast isn't really with us anymore. Well, I mean, Kevin uh Kevin Dillon is still alive, and Shawnee Smith is too, so. You know what? I would not mind a direct sequel with this cast returning, but they can't make a blob movie right now because, you know, it's like Friday the 13th, those stupid rights. Uh, if you don't know about Friday the 13th, uh, what rights I'm talking about, uh, there, back in 2015, there was this stupid law made that uh, they could not make any more movies unless they get because they have to figure out who the rights belong to. I mean, that case has been resolved now, but, you know, like... Even though they have the rights to make a movie, they just can't use certain ideas. So it, it's stupid, but I know. But so yeah, uh, love this film. I, I cannot recommend this movie enough. If you, if you have, if I don't keep repeating, if you the DVD, sure, I guess you could get it. But honestly, if you like using Blu-rays, uh, and you want to see some really good transfer quality, I would recommend picking up the Blu-ray to this. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the blob from 1988 a uh, 9 out of 10.